You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. Protecting my volunteers, that's our number one priority. We're not helping anybody if we're not safe. Now, new technology in Coles County is helping with that. First responders are using it, and you can see it at work right on your phones through a navigation app. Good evening, I'm Marley Capper. Jessica has a night off. It's called ha Hoss Alert. When you use navigation apps like Waze or Apple Maps, you automatically get a notification that officials are on scene along your route. WCI3's Amanda Brennan learned about the device today. Amanda. This is also helping save lives at the same time. That's exactly right, Marley. And I talked to Lincoln Fire Protection's chief about that this afternoon. Now, he says that, that the device reminds people using certain navigation apps to slow down and move over following Scott's law. It keeps his volunteer firefighters safe and helps them get home to their families at the end of the day. When the lights go on and the sirens go off, <laughs> The Haas Alert device automatically sends a notification to Apple Maps, Waze, and certain car models, warning drivers that first responders are on their route. The Lincoln Fire Protection District in Coles County has been using it, and the Deputy Chief Kevin Rankin says it's helpful. We have a lot of curves on our five and a half miles of interstate that we cover. So there's a lot of blind corners. So before drivers even begin to round the corners, they know what to expect ahead. And let advanced warning basically. Rankin says it's all about keeping their 55 volunteer firefighters safe. Helps to, you know, enforce Scott's law, you know, move over. In December, Haas alerted 504 drivers about 15 different incidents within the area that the district serves. This is one accident from September and the visual that people saw on their devices. The fire district has been using the app for six months, but they are just now really seeing the impacts. People are moving over leaving the lane closest to us where we're working. He notices more cars have been keeping their distance. Your head's on a swivel. You're turning around and trying to do something, and you're also looking for cars coming at you. Rankin says only about 20% of people get the warning notification, but others are following the lead. Another uh, 60 to 80% that are following, you know, if somebody pulls in the left lane, they're they're pulling in the left lane also. And at the end of the day, he is happy to have technology like this helping out. There's nothing compares to a life. So if that notifies people and gets us advanced warning for people to be sure and slow down, it, it's well worth it. He says whether you see flashing lights or not, move over. It might be a first responder or somebody having car troubles. Ring says, remember, it could be you sitting along the road next. Marley. Amanda, thank you.